Mike and I are doing our usual Sunday. We're doing our thing that we love to do. And that's eat. <laughs> Especially when it's a nice day off, like a nice Sunday. We can just uh, go to a diner. I told you plenty of times that I've dreamed about this life. Even though I'm not living this great, great life, I'm just saying I dreamed about, I can go this way anyway, why not? I dreamed about not having to work on Sunday. So the Liberty Bell was pretty good, or the Liberty, whatever they call it. The diner was pretty good, but we would try that. I think it's called Boxcar. I can't remember what it was called. Boxcar. The other one. Yeah, the other one on Frankfurt. And um, I'm just in a good diner mood. I don't know what I want to eat though. I don't know. I did a lot of my little eggs movies. I don't know what I want to eat. But we also have some projects we want to finish up from last week. You looking to try something different or are you going to still get your same old, same old? No, I go with work. Sure. Look at that spread. <laughs> So you're not mad at that. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it, Michael? Yeah, it's good. Let's hope it tastes as good as it looks. I didn't know you didn't get home fries with your omelet. It's just a plain omelet. They're inside of it. Oh, interesting. Let's eat. Those pancakes look huge. Well, okay. So, Mike, we just ate. No, no chanting, no excitement. No, it was not very good. I enjoyed mine. My goodness. Nice, delicious, big Belgian waffle, the kind you wish your waffle maker would make. So I got one of those at home, but this one was, had a little bit of crisp to it. Butter was soft. Your pancakes, your food looked delicious. It really did. But I don't know. I don't know what that pickled thing that was inside of your omelet. It was killing me. So I'm not upset. I'm pretty happy. I just wish my my honey bear. No, oh, I got food. I'm not hungry anymore, so I'm fine. Yeah. But no, they weren't really good. I guess we should have stuck to your usual. You said you was gonna to stick to your usual, but I looked and you had a, a farmer's omelet, which yeah. was which was definitely something different. Got a ham and, ham and Swiss omelet. Yeah, that was only our second time going. I don't think we went more than twice to that place. I think, um, yeah. If we kept going back to the Liberty Diner, it was something that made us not come back to it. It wasn't awful, but for some reason we thought the other one was better. No, uh, we always said the Liberty was yeah. a little bit better than this one. Yeah, that's why I think we, we did just, that. We're just doing something different, that's all. Yeah, I'm not disappointed. I just don't like on your side. My side? Well, like I said earlier, we have some things we need to do to finish off um, stuff that we started on another post. We got to finish it up. Okay, I want to open my packages, but my cat wants to get in the way. As far as the things that are going to go um, to the workstation that we're still working on. Order off of Amazon Prime Day. Just a few books for him tools off of. Okay. These definitely look bigger than I thought. Okay. So they have metal and they have plastic on the outside. I'm going to get them out of the bag and show it. These are good for, I guess, hanging plants off of. 
They've even tools. It's not bendable. It's metal inside, but plastic on the outside. So this is pretty good. This one, a bunch of them too. Ooh, it's this way. Oh, this is so pretty. The accessories are black. I did it on purpose so it could kind of stand out. And this hook thing, you know, drill it in, self-explanatory. Just so we can have a lot of accessories on the workstation. Now the box. Hmm. It was tough to get into. Hyper. Smelling my knife. this box on the floor. How about that, Piper? Now, you still want to see what's in here. Okay, great. This probably goes. All right. This is the pipe sort of um, to hang the uh, some tools off the side. I guess it's in pieces. Just fine. This is pretty cool. Just to accessorize it. So I'm gonna put that together. Okay, we're just getting it in position to start part B of the project. Okay, I'm handling part B of the project. I am excited about doing it. I do like, you know, making something beautiful out of something plain. So he did all the hard work, but I'm still going to do some work on this thing too. I just want to show the update. Michael did put those across there, the wood across there, so that it could stabilize the legs more. But he says the bottom part is not a good idea to put a shelf at the bottom, only because we're worried about, I guess, animals using it as a form of shelter. and. I must say, I do get a little irked when I see animals. I'm just not much of a nature girl. I'm more of a city girl, so it's an adjustment for me to see that. So let's get started. Not a fan of this paint. I don't know if it's just outdoor paint or whatever, but it's really watery. It kind of spilled around because I thought it'd be nice and thick, but it was watery. Um, see how it's watering around? How it's moving around? really loose I just use the roller to kind of just roll it on get it on there and then I'm going to use a brush
okay this is all I'm gonna do for today I thought I would finish more but Mike and I just kind of got a late start he put the bottom wood pieces on and I was waiting for that but he likes to relax more so on the weekend so I had to wait for a couple of hours till he you know got ready to do it and do it so then we ate and that was it I managed to muster up some energy after eating dinner and I did paint um, not only the bottom which I knew I was gonna paint the bottom but I also painted the top it just looked like it needed something up there the rest of it I'm gonna put the clear um, it's not clear it's like slightly tinted but it's gonna be mostly wood look and then the accessories that go on it too so unfortunately you have to stay tuned again until I could get the finished look. Thanks.